I'm sorry to make you come all the way down here, Miss Strauss. I just have a few questions I need to ask you. It's fine. You seem a little uneased. Is everything all right? To be honest, I don't want to be here. It makes me feel... Nervous? Is there anything for you to be nervous about, Miss Strauss? Because I don't like to be around police. Okay? I can understand that. But I do have a job to do. Job? Your job is to give the trash that victimize innocent people a little slap on the wrist while making the victims feel like criminals. Miss Strauss. And speaking of jobs, has anyone been able to locate my boyfriend? Whose job is that? That's missing persons. I work homicide. Homicide? I'll get straight to the point, Miss Strauss. When was the last time you saw or had any contact whatsoever with Brent Watson? Three weeks ago. He called shortly after I filed the missing persons report to let me know that he was all right. Did he say where he was? Or why? Anything of that nature? All he said was that he wasn't feeling himself and that he had some business to take care of. But nothing as to what that was. No. Had anything changed in your relationship around that time? An argument? An affair? Anything at all? Something you advertise in a t-shirt, detective. How did you find out? When the letter came informing me that the last one was being released, he was concerned and wanted to know what had happened. I'd never mentioned it. Everything. Everything. And that last one was... The same man's body was found 15 days ago in an abandoned home on the east side. Well, if you ask me, whatever he got wasn't good enough. Wait. You're not accusing me of doing this! That theory hadn't crossed our minds initially. But... When Darnell Higgins... Dewan Cole and David Morris showed up shortly after we discovered Ralford's body. Well, it's hard to assume that they're all just random homicides when the only common factor among all these men is you, Miss Strauss. Naturally, as I'm sure you can understand, you were our initial suspect. But your phone and work records 
don't put you anywhere near where these men resided or were found at any point in time. So then the question is raised. Could the woman whom these men sexually assaulted have put someone up to this?